Hey guys, uh, today we're gonna take a look at what I promised to show you on the last video and this camera was the reason that we converted this adapter from AC-DC to AC-AC now which is a fancier word for saying that I'm, I converted this to reduce from 120 volts on the wall outlet to 12 volts on this adapter. So if you want to watch that video, how we converted this from uh, AC-DC to AC-AC, which by the way, this has to be scratched probably since it's no longer true. It's no DC. Just go watch my last video. And uh, the reason was that this camera requires 12 to uh, 9, I think, to... 24 volts AC and in order to do that I either had to use one of those old door ring bells that I don't really have anymore or I had to buy one and to buy one those are quite expensive online and I don't know why but I resorted to doing it myself because I bought this camera for a dollar at a flea market and I just wanted to try and yes this is a doorbell but I'm not going to use it as a doorbell and no, in this video, I'm not going to mount it outside for ideal reasons, because I don't know where I'm going to put it yet, but I'm going to use it just as a regular security camera, because it has a really good uh, field of view, wide uh, angle, and it has good night vision, and it has good motion detection. And no, it's not going to be used as a doorbell. And by the way, this color turned on because it has some kind of built-in battery or capacitor, I guess. But it doesn't turn on to fully function. Just turns on to keep it, you know, to keep the network and all that memory. So now, without wasting time, let's connect just the cables directly to the back panel, which it connects this way. You put this on the wall or wherever you want to put it. Then you put the bell itself, the camera itself on top of it, and it makes contact here. And let me do just that, and then we'll test the camera really quick. Okay, and the wires are in place now. They're not going anywhere. I put them in a hook style. They're under the contacts, and the contacts should be very, very good. And let me put it in here, and uh, just gonna plug this adapter and see where that goes. Okay, as we see, we have some light right here, and I have the app installed on my test motorola which is by the way an e5 plus very old but believe it or not it's running uh android 12 and as you see here this app is not secure on rooted devices and blah 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 yeah i'm gonna just say use anyway and we'll wait for this light to turn on into a solid blue which means it will be online and uh this app you can just sign in i signed up already have an account and I signed it on this phone and right now it should be connected and let me twist the camera around for privacy purposes and click this video doorbell and it's loaded right here for whatever that means and this is the camera itself as you see it works quite well and yes it is a mess here on my desk but the point of the matter is that the camera works like a charm and to me that's what matters really is the hand going in front of it and uh, let me trigger it to turn night mode right here you hear a small click and now i'm taking my hands off and this is now in night mode as you see and now it turns back to normal mode and it has good motion settings i already have them activated as you see right here you can add in the zone and the sensitivity and all that stuff and it's working really well for what i'm looking to do with it and uh i think this is a quality camera it's actually pretty good for anything, for a doorbell or whatever you want to use it for. In my case, I'm not going to use it for that, but for you should be fine. And I think you can find these on the uh, Home Depot, if I'm not wrong. As you see, this is the screwdrivers. And yes, this is the uh, controller 
PlayStation 3 controller, I still use it. And this is the phone itself on camera. And let me record just some of it and give it storage permission. Continue, set, continue, I guess. I don't know what I'm doing now. Continue, allow. And now it's recording. And I will try to put this video on screen for you while I'm doing this one, just to see that. The footage is coming from this camera and it's set to HD. And yes, this is, yeah, that's my Elgato Wave 3 that I use daily. And this is just great. It's a beautiful camera, by the way. It's really a beautiful camera. Let me exit here and show you something on the body. Let me just take it out of here. Yes, that's not a turn off you want to do, but I'm going to do it because I can. Here on the bottom, now you have a reset button and the micro sd card uh slot and uh, let me just unlock my focus here so you guys can see it right here this is the reset button side if i can take this rubber this is the sorry the reset is here you can turn on and off here on this button there's a small switch on and off there's a reset button and here is the SD card. You can input insert an SD card and it will record to your SD card directly. And yes, this one has a two-way voice. By the way, this camera works with two-way voice. And as you see, the battery is holding pretty good, actually. Let me plug it back in so it doesn't die on us while doing this. And it goes through its initiation stuff. Whatever you want to call that, just give it a second. And right now, the doorbell is active and working. We click it back in again. It will load. And yes, it's fully loaded right now. And uh, let me talk to this camera and see if you can hear it on the microphone. I'm going to put it near the microphone so you can hear it. One, two. And yes, I am too close. Okay, let me let me turn this one off. Okay, now we are too close because I'm hearing my voice from here and my voice from here. So yes, this camera works on two way. And uh, let me get it out of here. And yeah, that was it. It's so easy. It's that easy. Seriously, that easy. To make one of these cameras work perfectly and let me unplug this uh, adapter just to show you that it's actually its own battery runs too this is the adapter this is the camera and i don't know how long it actually runs on its internal battery but i know it runs and i'm not sure if it's even charged enough right now to run but yeah it still has some charge left on it and i'm not gonna let it go to zero because i need to charge it to in order to test it tomorrow where i'm gonna place it around the house and besides that i guess this is the end of this video and if you guys want to see how we converted ac dc to ac ac watch this video somewhere somewhere on this side this was it for today We'll see you next time. Bye.